Did you know that there's an award show for YouTube? Hey guys, how's it going? It's Zach, and in this Geek Speak video, I'm going to be talking about an event that happened last Sunday, the 4th Annual Streamy Awards. The Streamies is an event that highlights and pays tribute to individuals in the online video platform community. The event was hosted by Hannah Hart and Grace Helbig, two very big names in the vlogger community, and they were fantastic hosts. They are two very funny women, and just watching them on stage playing off each other as the hosts it reminded me a lot of Ellen DeGeneres, and I think that's a big compliment to them, that they have that level of comedy, but also that they can carry out a show in an orderly fashion. Throughout the stream, I recognize multiple YouTubers in the audience, like Smosh Games, Shay Carl, Jenna Marbles, Tyler Oakley, Harley Morenstein, and so many more. There were categories like first person channel, beauty guru, they even had an icon section where they highlighted various individuals that were seen as icons in the online video community. I thought those were really neat and given out to fantastic people online. Shay Carl got one, Tyler Oakley got another, even Pitbull, which I saw as kind of weird because I didn't think he did YouTube, but I guess he does collaborations with people, which in a sense is doing YouTube by association. As much as I did enjoy watching the streamies for a while, I couldn't help but notice that there were certain aspects of the production that I didn't feel meshed very well combining YouTube with a big, like, Hollywood award show, and I guess my views were reflected on Twitter and a few times in the comments. The first thing that kind of threw me off was the camera work, specifically when awards were given out, when people's names were announced. Whoever was behind those cameras, I don't think they knew who the YouTubers were. When Jenna Marbles won her award for first person channel, we didn't we couldn't see her initial reaction because the camera didn't point to her until after she had gotten up and was going to the stage. This happened again when Smosh Games won an award for I believe best gaming channel. I felt like Rob the audience, the people who were watching, as well as the people who were there, the opportunity to have their like their genuine reactions captured on video and then put out to the world as YouTube does. The second thing that threw me off about this event, I thought it was way too quiet. When people got their names announced for awards, there wasn't the big explosion of noise that you hear at like VidCon or Playlist Live. No, it was just the nice quiet clapping, and then every now and then someone from the audience would give out woohoo! But it wasn't, it wasn't a big uproar, it, it's not, it wasn't, didn't have that huge community feel that I thought an award show for YouTube would have. Also, the presenters weren't really entirely enthusiastic. I mean, of course, Grace Helbig, Hannah Hart, by Justine and Shay Carl when he went up to get his award, and Harley Morenstein for that matter, they got on stage, they showed their personality. I think they were probably my five favorite people at that entire event. The others, it was just walk on, say some things that I guess they wanted the audience to laugh a little bit because I could tell they were making a joke, it just wasn't coming off right. They presented the award walked off. That was it, really. Again, it didn't have the overall giant YouTube community feel to it that I thought it would. One little thing that I was kind of hoping would happen, but I didn't really see much of it, was just people in the audience vlogging the entire event. Like, that, that would have been cool to see that happening 
I can understand that it didn't. Again, it's a YouTube event, and come on, so so many people there vlog. I know, I just need vlogs, but she was backstage, so you couldn't really see her. Jenna, her sister, she vlogs. A couple days ago, they posted their videos of the coverage of the streamies. So they did in fact vlog. I just didn't see them. And if I can throw my own little, hey, what's up with this? I didn't get an invite. <laughs> um, I do YouTube too, guys. You can, you can invite the small people out. I, I, it's not that big a deal. All in all, I really enjoyed the streamies for what they were. It was a celebration of individuals in the online video community and showcasing their content, their relationship with the fans, and highlighting the great messages that they have to share with people so that they can live their lives to be the most that they can be. That is one of the biggest things that I love about YouTube. Having a global community come together to strengthen and empower each other. Watching this event has gotten me so excited and so determined to get out to California next summer for VidCon 2015. Which leads right into my question for the video, which is, have you ever been to an online video convention of some sort? Be it VidCon, Playlist Live, Vlogger Fair, Buffer Fest, even though it just started up? Let me know in the comments below. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to punch the like button if you enjoyed it, share it around with your friends, hit that little subscribe button up there to be notified of all my latest videos, and comment below so we can chat. You can find me at ZachAttack on Facebook and Google+, as well as ZXK77 on Twitter and Instagram. And if you want to check out my previous video in the series, you can click over that way. All of these links will be in the description below. It's been great talking to you, and I'll see you in my next video. Live to be different and be who you were born to be.